Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Math Bell. My name is Michelle and here I share strategies, tutorials, ideas, tips, and more in elementary math for parents and teachers. Today is day 11 of our 30 day back to school math resource challenge. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to create very simple subtraction worksheets for your students. I'll be sharing with you how to create them using pictures, one with an open number line and then some with no visuals where the students just have to solve the problems. So let's get started. We are going to start by going to create a design and then clicking on custom dimensions. We're going to change it to eight and a half inches by 11 inches. Make sure you change your pixels to inches before you type in those numbers. So our page is loaded. It's it has that white background, so you can't really see it. So I'm going to get rid of the menu of features and then change the color to like a light gray so that you can see what I'm working on. So we're gonna start by adding a text box by just clicking the T on your keyboard. We're going to change our text box and put name, a place for the students to write their name. Just like we usually start our printable worksheets. I'm gonna resize that and then move it to the top of our page. Let's decrease the font size and then stretch out our text box. So now we're going to add in another text box to start with our number one. So this first page is gonna be subtraction within 10 using pictures. So we change that first text box to show number one. We're gonna move it up. Now let's go over to our elements to find some type of visual that we want to use to have our students using to subtract. So looking through our features, I like those hand-drawn animals, but I think I want to use other type of animals. So let's type in animals to our search bar. So we have a variety of animals to choose from. Some of the images are free, some of them are with the pro version of camera. I'm, I'm gonna choose this image of a fish, like a goldfish. Let's resize it and then move it up closer to our number one. And then I'm going to duplicate it by hitting Command D on my computer. I have a Mac, if you have a PC, hit Control D. And then just duplicate as many of them as you want. For this problem, I'm going to go with six of the fish. We're going to create our equation to go along with the images. So I added another text box. Remember, click on the T on your keyboard and it creates a text box. And then let's write an equation that matches the picture. So if I'm starting with six, let's have them take away four. And then let's change the font and move up our equation closer to our images. So there's our first problem. We're going to use those goldfish to help the students do 6 minus 4. And then we're going to duplicate that set so that we can create problem number 2. Let's delete the goldfish so we can change our images out. Let's look for another picture, another animal. Let's choose this turtle. So we're gonna resize the turtle to make it smaller and then move it closer to the number. Then let's duplicate that picture. And then again, duplicate as many as you'd like. I wanna get seven in here, but it's gonna run off the page, so let's select all of our turtles and then make them a little smaller and move them over. Let's change our number to number two. We'll change our equation. So we have seven turtles and then let's do subtract three. 
Okay, so we're going to select this entire problem set so that we can duplicate it for number three. I'm going to change that number two to a number three and then delete the pictures of the turtle so I can find a new image for this third problem set. Let's go with this dog. We're going to place the dog and then duplicate it like the first two problems. So we're able to get eight of the dogs on there. We're going to make sure they're aligned a little bit more. Let's change our equation. So we have eight. Let's take away, let's take away two. So we have eight minus two. Let's select our question number three so we can duplicate it and make our final question for this page. It's a little close to the edge. So I'm gonna select the other problems and move them up so that there's more room for that fourth problem. I'm gonna delete our dogs so that we can find a new image for our problem number four. Let's go with this chicken or hen. Let's duplicate it to see how many we can get on the page. So we fit seven of them on there. So our equation is gonna have seven. Let's see, we're gonna take away Let's do six this time, so they'll get a difference of one. Let's add in a text box so we can have directions for the students to follow. Start with directions. Now we have our directions and we resized it, decreased the font size. Let's select our images and bring them down just slightly and then let's add a text box so we can place a title at the top titles and directions can be optional let's label this one as just subtraction you can put subtraction within 10 if you'd like or under 10 so let's duplicate the page by going to copy page So our pages are copied. I copied it more than once. So let's delete. Let's let's delete one of those pages. And then for our second page of subtraction, let's get rid of all of these images. So for our directions, we're going to take out using the picture and we want them to just solve to find the difference. So we're going to add a text box again, hit the T on your keyboard and that text box will pop up, change it to a number one and then move that number one into place. For these problems, we're going to give the students an open number line to solve the problem. So let's look for a number line in our elements. So there's nothing there. So let's make our own. Let's just type an arrow. And there are a variety of arrows we can choose from. I like these, so let's choose one of those and then make it larger. That might be a little too big and I can't make it thinner. So let's look for another one. Let's try this one here. I look slightly thinner. The arrows are not closed in. So let's get rid of that first arrow and then change the color to black on this second arrow. It's still a little large, but it's a little thinner than the first one. Let's create a text box to start our problems. So we're going to change this to make our equation. Our first equation is going to be 24 minus 10 equals blank. 
So we want to have that right under that number line and we want the students to use the number line if necessary. They don't have to in order to solve this problem and find the difference. Let's duplicate that arrow for problem number two. And then duplicate our equation. Change our number one to two. And then change our equation. Let's go with 47 minus 23. Let's duplicate that whole set so we can do problem number three. So we'll just have three problems on this page. Let's change two to number three and then change our equation. Let's do 33 minus 15. And then for our directions, we can keep the same, but just add on, use the number line to help. And it's an open number line. So they get to decide where they start on the number line, what numbers they need to use. So we copied that second page so we can create our third worksheet. We're going to get rid of the images and equations on this page and start a new text box. Let's start with number one. This is just going to be vertical problems with just numbers. Two and three digit numbers, maybe put in some four digit numbers. So our first equation is going to be 314 minus 279. So on that second line, I want to underline it so I can have the equal line. Let's highlight the number, go to our three buttons and hit underline, and then move that 314 over just slightly, and then move our equation up closer to the number one. Okay, let's select that and duplicate that. That looks good. Let's start with number two. And then let's change our equation. Our top number is going to be 754 minus 192. And then let's underline that bottom row again. Let's select both sets of problems and then duplicate those. And then line them up. We're going to do the same steps for number three and number four. So we change our directions and we're resizing them. And we took off our number line part of our directions because the students are just going to be solving on this page, solving to find the difference. So now that all three of our pages are done, let's add in a border. Borders are optional. You can print out those pages like you have them now or add a border. Let's find a square that has no fill inside. So there's one. Then we're just going to extend it to cover the entire page. Let's adjust some of the positions of the text boxes now that we have a border. Let's change the background color. So let's move the frame out of the way right now and select the background color so we can change it back to white. And then move the frame back into place.
And then we can change the, the color of our frame as well. That dark green looks good with it, adds more pop of color. So let's leave that there and then we're gonna copy that frame and then paste it on our other pages. But first, let's change our background to white and then paste our frame in and then change the color of our frame to like a light gray. Then for our third worksheet, we're gonna change the background to white and then paste in that frame. And let's change that frame to gray. Actually, let's make it a little bit darker. So let's choose a darker gray, just to differentiate it from the last worksheet. And there are our three subtraction worksheet pages. Let's change the name as we save it. And then we're going to name each page separately. So it could be something elaborate or something simple. So I'm going to put subtraction worksheet number one. Let's copy that and paste it on the other pages. All right, now we're ready to download our pages. So we're going to hit download, click download again. And then instead of PNG, we're going to save it as a PDF print and then click download. Then our PDF is being prepared, gets ready really fast. So let's click on that PDF. It looks pretty good. Although I noticed on the edge that frame is coming off a little bit. I can still see white on the edge. So let's go back and see if we can fix that. Let's zoom in. So we just need to extend that frame very slightly and it'll fill the entire page. All right, let's go back to download. Download again. Go from PNG to PDF print and then hit download. Our new PDF page, page is ready. So let's click it open. And that frame looks a lot better than the last one. It filled the entire page. So here are our three printable subtraction worksheets. I hope this tutorial helped you with creating your very own printable subtraction worksheets. Okay, that's the end of our day 11 video. Now you know how to create those subtraction worksheets and you can add those to your math resource toolkit. Remember, if you want to change those printables into digital resources, check out my video on switching it from a printable to a digital and it won't take long at all. Remember, if you want a copy of the resources that were created in this video or any of the other videos, check out the link in the description box below where you can get access to all of the printables that were created during this 30 day challenge. If you found this video helpful, please like it by hitting that thumbs up button, share it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much to those who have subscribed so far. I greatly appreciate it. And if you wanna be notified as soon as the next video is posted, please hit that notification bell. Until next time, I will see you in the next video.